Hi there, digital explorers and art enthusiasts. Today we're zooming in on the scams that lurk in the shadows of the digital art scene. Yes, those too good to be true offers popping up in your DMs are usually just that, even though many really wish for that big break and the ton of money they promise. So if you're an artist or just NFT curious, stay tuned as we uncover the traps of NFT scams that are sweeping through social media and what you can really trust. Let's keep it real and safe in this digital space. So let's start by saying a word or two about the technology itself. NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, represent unique digital assets verified using blockchain technology. Each NFT has a distinct, non-interchangeable identifier, ensuring its authenticity and ownership. This makes every NFT unique. The uniqueness can apply to digital art, music, videos and more, allowing creators to maintain ownership and sell original digital works. This whole process makes sure that everyone knows who owns what and that each digital item remains rare and special, just like a rare painting or a one-of-a-kind collectible. Many artists and celebs have all auctioned off their digital creations for jaw-dropping figures. But as with any craze, what goes up must come down. The market gained momentum in 2017 with projects like CryptoKitties leading to widespread public attention. By 2020 and 2021, a certain of interest and market activity was evident, characterized by high-profile sales and mainstream adaption. However, this growth phase also highlighted the market's volatility and speculative nature, underlying the necessity for scrutiny and regulation within this sector. But while the collectible segment of the NFT market experienced a significant downturn, it's important to recognize that the realm of digital art continues to flourish within this space. Many Fine artists have embraced NFT technology, finding new avenues for expression and connection with audiences. This thriving community underscores the potential of NFTs as a valuable tool for artists in the digital era, beyond the realm of mere collectibles. However, this rise has coincided with an increase in fraudulent activities aimed at exploiting unsuspecting artists. The scams often involve false promises of lucrative sales or partnerships exploiting the artist's lack of familiarity with the digital landscape. The scams not only result in financial losses, but also contribute to a broader mistrust in the digital art market, potentially stifling innovation and creativity. This unfortunately affects us that are active in the space and that are driven by a genuine interest and expertise in digital art. It's pretty common these days for artists to get random messages out of nowhere on social media like Instagram saying someone wants to buy their art as NFTs or get them into some big project. Here's the deal. Most of the time, these messages are scams. If someone you don't know pops up offering big bucks for your art, promising huge opportunities, if you just pay a fee up front, be super wary. Real deals and legit opportunities usually don't happen like this, especially not out of the blue. So if you get one of these messages, take a step back and think twice before diving in. It's likely not not the golden opportunity it seems to be. Well, what about leap art then, you might ask yourself. We are active as a curator and promoter of digital art, that this means we are scams as well? Well, no, I can assure you leap art is not a scam. We have worked hard for a long time to build our platform. As a digital platform working with artists in this area, one thing is for sure, we would never reach out to artists out of the blue. We work with artists that we already have a relationship with and that trust us either from the digital space or outside of it. We provide artists with marketing and space for showing art in the digital arena, helping artists that are often introverts with marketing and visibility. So again, let me say this with emphasis. If it sounds too good to be true and you are contacted by someone that does not follow you or has a social media presence, block that account immediately. If you are truly interested in entering the scene of digital art, start by engaging with artists and influencers already in the scene. It's not easy to know where to start, we understand that, but this is truly the only way to start to know your way around the post-digital art scene. Do you want us to make a video on how to navigate in this space and where to begin? Please go ahead and like this 
this one and we will know if you have an interest in that. Please also leave a comment if you have any thoughts. In conclusion, navigating the vibrant yet volatile world of NFTs requires vigilance, especially for artists and creators stepping into the digital domain for the first time. While NFT technology offers un unparalleled opportunities for authenticating and monetizing digital art, the parallel rise in scams underlines the importance of caution. Artists should critically assess unsolicited offers before proceeding, establishing genuine connections within the digital art community and conducting thorough research are fundamental steps towards safeguarding one's work. Remember, genuine opportunities rarely come from unexpected sources. As many artists continue to explore this digital realm, it's my utmost belief that together we can foster a secure, informed and supportive environment for all artists. That way we can take part of the genuine innovation that NFTs bring to the art world, while protecting ourselves and others from the pitfalls that accompany this digital revolution. If you found this guide through the tricky terrain of NFTs helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And for deeper dives and further exploration, check out the resources linked below and our other videos. A huge thank you for tuning in and stay safe, stay curious. Until next time, keep creating and questioning.